Item number SCP-2481 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Site-143 has been constructed around SCP-2481 and all related experiments are to be conducted on site. To ensure the cooperation of SCP-2481-3, personnel entering SCP-2481 must be of Han ethnicity. One is to be kept disassembled in storage when not studied or experimented on. Two is not to be moved from its current position, and all related examinations must be conducted within SCP-2481. Three is to be accompanied by at least two personnel at all times. Personnel are encouraged to communicate with three through writing in order to stabilize its mental state. Subjects of Chinese history after the Lej Sha dynasty are to be avoided. Obtaining detailed information about 1 and 2 is of the utmost priority. Description SCP-2481 refers to a spherical space, roughly 50 meters in diameter, located at a depth of about 20 meters underneath a Shang dynasty archaeological site. Note SCP-2481 was discovered accidentally during the archaeological dig of said Shang Dynasty site. The foundation was subsequently notified for the anomalous nature of SCP-2481. Based on the materials discovered by the archaeological team, it is believed that the Shang Dynasty site was intentionally built upon SCP-2481 for the purpose of warding off evil. In Beep, Henan Province, China. The temperature within SCP-2481 is a constant 35 degrees Celsius regardless of the surrounding environment. SCP-2481-1 refers to a large bronze structure within SCP-2481, which roughly resembles a cube and four pillars attached to a flat surface. It is estimated to have been built around 1800 BCE. The structure appears to have experienced extreme heat, resulting in severely damaged parts and melted surfaces. SCP-2481-1 has been cleanly severed at the boundary of SCP-2481, with no segments or pieces of the structure found outside of SCP-2481. Certain portions of one resemble damaged circuit boards found in modern electronics. Analysis had proven difficult due to the damaged state of one. However, it might be speculated that the structure is a computing device in base 8. SCP-2481-2 refers to a beryllium bronze alloy device. In its original state, two would have been roughly symmetrical with one pointed end, estimated to have been 33 meters in length and one meter in diameter. It is speculated to have been previously attached to 1. Unlike 1, 2 displays little evidence of heat damage, but appears to have been damaged by blunt force, causing it to break into 3 large pieces and 38 small ones. Research into its components and interior structure is limited, as previous attempts to move the main pieces of SCP-2481-2 have resulted in the rapid destabilization of SCP-2481. Note, including but not limited to a quick rise in temperature, deterioration of 1 and further entry to 3. However, on-site research and analysis of its minor pieces indicates similar inner structure and working principle to BEEP, and it is likely that 2 was assigned as a BEEP. Analysis of BEEP with in SCP-2481 suggests that 2 is the core of the anomaly. SCP-2481-3 refers to a humanoid entity with reptilian features, genetically similar to a male human of Han ethnicity, suggesting that it underwent post-birth alterations. 3 possesses a head similar in appearance to that of a many-banded trite. A lovely humanoid upper torso with a humanoid right arm, but clawed with timidly in hand. A serpentine lower torso with a snake-like tail in place of legs, and is entirely covered in scales.
Three is currently trapped beneath two and has suffered severe burn-related injuries. The left side of its body is absent, including its left arm, part of its throat, a small portion of its face, and likely a significant amount of its organs. Oh, three's wounds exhibit extreme heat. It does not spread to the rest of its body or the surrounding environment. Despite this, three remains alive and conscious, and although incapable of speech, is able to communicate with the Foundation through writing. Three uses what appears to be a sister writing system to what was either used in the Shang dynasty, dynasty, but significantly more developed. Foundation linguists were able to translate the script after three months of study and communication. Three is believed to be the operator of one and two. While the subject is cooperative, attempts to gather technical details on the devices have failed due to its heavily deteriorated mental state. Three claims to be an official of the Shah dynasty under the reign of King Ji. Note, allegedly the last king of Shah dynasty, commonly described as a tyrant, who was tasked with eliminating a hostile entity, but failed, resulting in the current damaged state of one and two. Refer to the addendum for more information. Addendum. The following is a partial archive log of most relevant information translated from Three's written text, will range in readable order. Due to Three's deteriorated mental state, most information offered has been proven redundant, repetitive, or incoherent. The original Chinese translation is provided alongside English for reference. About Three. I am E, an official of the Shah Court. I am in charge of the Tenth Sword to defend against the Golden Crow, which is the Sun God. Back then, there were ten Golden Crows appearing all at once. One of them found a chance and summoned great fires upon the Tower of Yu. I was no match for it, and thus trapped. The Shang later came and wanted to enact evil deeds, but fortunately, the sword of Shang Yang exerted its power despite being damaged. Ti Xiang saw it as divine and did not dare to transgress and thus buried it under the ground. I was born in Jing and received my transformation into the serpentine form at the age of twelve. I began to study the way of the serpent at the age of twenty and was fortunate enough to work in the capital. The sword I commanded was powerful enough to slay gods, but who can predict that the death of nine crows would cause the heaven and earth to destabilize, letting the last one loose? Now that the Tower of Yu is shattered and the sword of Xiang Yang is gone, the crow has escaped, while wow, I am still left alive. I have failed King Jay's mission. Researchers note, the Tower of Yu seems to be referring to SCP-2481-1, while the Sword of Xiang Yang refers to SCP-2481-2. Head researcher, Xi Qing. I may wish for death, but if I do so, the history of Shao will since be lost. I therefore dare not seek death. About one and two. In the past, father servants taught us the ways, establishing the written language and the methods of building machines. The latter is called Wu Shi Ba Kua. Note a Taoist concept consisting of eight trigrams, often used to represent fundamental principles of reality. The Yellow Emperor studied it and acquired the spirit of the meadow. And thus, defeating Chi Yu at Ju Ru, King Yu collected metal from the state and was able to build his towers based on Bagua. After that, the gods stayed away out of fear and ghosts cried at night. During the reign of King Yu, all land within the four seas all unified. The savage and the foreign all fall under his rule. Some suggested we should sacrifice to gods. King Yu answered, Gods are food to the lung, and humans are descendants of the lung. It is why we should not fear gods. 
Hence, King Yu collected metal from nine states, building nine towers to intimidate the gods. During the reign of King Shogun, swords that were capable of slaying gods were put into the towers. The swords were named after a great ancestor of the Yellow Emperor, called Xiangyong. When King Ji was ruling, there were 49 such towers and more than 10 such swords. The working principle of the sword of Xiangyang is not to destroy, but to get rid of one's form, mind, history from beginning to end, and causation, making it no longer exist. Nine swords used, heaven and earth were disturbed greatly, and such action is like drawing fire to oneself. The golden crows are no longer, and Sha was also subjected to its effect, or turned into ashes. Except for me, who survived by the effect of the broken sword. When the Shang arrived here, he didn't even know about the Shah. And the thought of me as godly or monstrous. About the cause of SCP 2481's current state. The Shang engaged in business and were lonely people. They did not study the ways of the Long and the Serpent and in turn worshipped the Golden Crows. It's laughable. They rebelled against Shua during the reign of King Yongjia. The savage and the lowly people prayed for magic from the gods. The king used machines to drive them away and wipe them out. Ong Dishang managed to survive by worshipping the Golden Crows. From the reign of King Go and to the reign of King Fa, Shang was dealt with multiple times but we cannot rid ourselves of them. The treacherous Jun was the leader of Shang, who betrayed our mother and father, summoning the three little crows with great fires and sacrifices. Ten sons appeared all at once, and Shua dynasty was in a dire situation. Thus, King Jie ordered ten officials to get rid of the crows and the swords of Shang Yang. Ten swords used and nine crows fallen. One escaped, and the effort failed by the last minute. Such sadness. As the Golden Crows in SCP-2481-3 description resembled the entity worshipped by the group, the Children of the Torch. With permission, the subject was shown materials related to SCP-1428 for confirmation. Three's reaction as follows. <laughs> it may have escaped back then, but now it us in the cage at last. Now that the golden crow is trapped, the way of the servant is achieved. The kings of Sha can now rest in peace. For more information regarding the Sha Anonymous Culture Group, consult document 2481. Document 2481. The following is the extended log of information gathered from SCP 2481 3's written text regarding the Sha Anonymous Culture Group about the Yellow Emperor. Note A legendary Chinese sovereign as well as a mythical figure, often considered to be the ancestor of Han ethnicity along with the Yang Emperor. Allegedly, he unified China after defeating the other two major tribe leaders, Qiyou and the Yuan Emperor. Our great ancestor, the Yellow Emperor, once fought Qiyou and the Yuan Emperor. He defeated Qiyou at Zhou made Yuan Emperor retreat at Bangchuan, and killed Qing Tian at Changyang Shan. Qiyou got rid of his body, skin and hair, and sacrificed them to the brass lung also known as Fu Shi. Qiyou had 81 brothers, all possessing heads of brass and iron. Yan Emperor prayed to Niu Hua, thus becoming an immortal and immune to disease. He could survive with his head removed and could craft flesh into, into different forms. The Yellow Emperor saw this and commented, Fu Shi is our father and Niu Hua is our mother. But they have trapped each other in Tai Soi. Note, an imaginary planet in ancient China, which is the counterpart of Jupiter, but moves in the opposite direction. For 
over one myriad years now, sacrificing in vain, each fighting for their own master. But for what? The ways they taught are still preserved, but why not study those instead? Can we understand the way of the serpent and modify ourselves in shape of the loan? Chiyo was defeated, but said, Me and my eighty-one brothers, all blessed by the brass loan, we have bodies of brass and iron that nothing can harm us. Applying swords and knives to them are proven useless. The Yellow Emperor thus summoned lightning and fire, turning them into molten iron, and sealed them in Shu, around Sichun province today. After the young emperor surrendered, there was the one called Xing Tian, who worshipped Mother Long. He rebelled holding axe and shield. The yellow emperor cut off his head, but he grew a new mouth and eyes and kept fighting. The yellow emperor burned him, and he finally died. He was buried in Changyang Shan. About King Yu. Note, also known as Yu the Great, who is allegedly the first king of the Sha dynasty and is famous for his blood control. During the reign of King Yu, Xiang Lu caused chaos by spreading plague and harmful insects. Xiang Lu possessed a body of a snake and nine human heads. Xiang Lu was originally humans combined. They did not adhere to the way of the serpent and listened to the words of the lone, so with her flesh melted together and the souls were gone. One would be consumed if came in contact with it. During the reign of King Nu, there were great floods. Regulation had proven unsuccessful. So King Nu asked Bo Yi for help. Bo Yi answered, Eight hundred myriad years has passed since we see Tra and Bua in the plant of Tai Soi, and now from the long and serpents in the rivers, such is anomalous. We need to check on Tai Soi. Thus, King Wu collected metal from all over the country and built towers of Wu. He later built a huge ship passing by the moon and Mars before sailing to Tai Soi. For he said, Tai Soi is where the lung is trapped. Now that cage has a crack, flesh descended down to nine states, causing the lights of Shang Lu to appear. Thus, King Yu built three giant ships and stationed them at Tai Soi, bending the crack. During the reign of King Qi, a gateway leading to Tai Soi was built. Researchers note, while the connection is unconfirmed, this fragment greatly resembles the To the Dragon's Witness poem from COTBG Archive, Beep 20 Beep, Dr. Judith Lowe. Senior Advisor at the Department of History, Religious GOI Thread Analysis. About Transformation One who received the ritual of transformation at the age of 12 becomes similar in appearance to our Mother Lung and Father Serpent. Farmers acquire scales, craftsmen acquire serpent heads, officials possess body of serpents, while lords look like Lung. Merchants, servants, and savages do not belong, and will not go through the rituals. Researchers note, the Mechanite, the Divite, and the Socket. And how this? Various ancient cultures have undergone anomalous phases, often with strong emphasis on corporeal augmentation or transmogrification. But how much has it influenced the development of our species? Dr. Judith Lowe. Senior Advisor at the Department of History, Religious GOI Threat Analysis. Those who contributed greatly could perfect the transformation ritual, joining the ranks of scholars or even lords. About the dragons, the gods gathered at a great abyss, like insects drawn to flames. The abyss is also called Goi Shu. There are two great lungs who fed on gods. One of them stands for Yang and the spirit of metal, whose name is Fu Shi. The other stands for Yin and is the god of body and flesh, whose name is Nuwa. The two long mated and humans were born. 
and thus humans are descendants of the loan. Researchers note, dualism is not unexpected. The basic concept existing among a majority of theological, mythological, and even philosophical traditions, but the nature of the dragons, of organic against versus inorganic, not something found in known Chinese traditions. However, a similar concept can be found in the heterodox writings of a little-known Mechanite sect, whose beliefs were never codified and incorporated into the later Church of the Broken God theology. Dr. Judith Lowe, Senior Advisor of the Department of History, Religious GOI Threat Analysis. Hu Xi is our father's servant. He first taught us written language, and then the Bagua to help us understand the rules of the world. Machines were made based on Bagua. Since then, we all studied the way of the serpent. Yu Hua has sharp claws and teeth, and is our mother alone. She breathed life into soil to make humans. There are six beasts serving her, called Hong Dun, Chong Qi, Tou Wu, Tao Tai, Gong Gong, and Zhu Wang. Fu Shi fought Nu Hua, causing the pillar that holds the sky to break, and the strings that tie the ground together to break. People suffered. Only one out of ten survived. Fu Shi couldn't bear to allow this, so he used his own body as a cage, trapping Nu Hua in the planet of Tai Shui. Other Researchers note, the following does not seem to be directly relevant to SCP-2481, but are archived for their possible implications. In the far west, there was a kingdom of apes. They walked on bare feet and controlled beasts of various kinds. King Shao Gong fought against them, and it was not until the reign of King Meng that the war was over. Level 4 Clearance Required Access Granted I have noticed certain similarities between the mythology associated with SCP-2481, those found in Mechanism, as preached by the Church of the Broken God, and Sarcasism, despite sharing no common lineage with either. It is possible that those responsible for SCP-2481 encountered and or practiced the anomalies of both a distinctly mechanical and distinctly organic nature, anomalies similar to those that had inspired the development of mechanism and sarcasism, and possibly other ancient traditions. Note, the Shua Anomalous Culture Group appears to predate these faiths and be the oldest recorded anomalous human civilization. It is possible that these faiths encountered anomalous objects or entities independently, or the Shua Anomalous Culture Group discovered the root of both, ultimately resulting in their unusual and anachronistic biomechanical engineering. These potential cross-cultural influences, while intriguing and worthy of further study, are of minor importance compared to Tai Soi. I urge the Foundation to investigate this matter, considering the technology available to our anomalous culture group. It is within the realm of possibility that they may have constructed something capable of at least limited space travel, if scanning for possible artificial structures, either orbiting Jupiter or following its rotation around the Sun is out of the question, then I at least suggest gather more related information from SCP-2481-3. Dr. Judith Lowe, Senior Advisor at the Department of History, Religious GOI Threat Analysis. O5 Level Clearance Required. Input Credentials. Access Granted. To the O5 Council, based on the information gathered and the research into SCP-2481-1 and 2, the research team have come to the conclusion that the Shah Dynasty itself can be seen as an anomaly. They were in command of highly developed and anomalous technology, and most of its citizens had undergone anomalous modifications. We have already confirmed one to be part of a larger computing device, but the study of two provides even more striking implications. 
specialists have identified some uh, inner structure and working principle to Scantron reality anchors. And two is believed to have been designed as one-time use reality warping weapon. The analysis of the Hume level within SCP-2481 suggests that too is the core of the anomaly, and reason that the items were able to be preserved. It may also be that too has somehow placed SCP-2481 in the form of stasis, keeping three alive despite its injuries. The team was able to obtain a list of important locations and structures of the Shard Dynasty from three, but have been unable to locate any of the sites on said list. Furthermore, not only does one appear to have been cut off from a larger structure, but there is also a suspicious lack of one part outside of SCP-2481, even given the passage of time. Therefore, based on Three's description of the so-called Sword of Xiangyang's working principle, a bold hypothesis may be put forth. Given the literary prominence of the Shah dynasty, but a lack of archaeological evidence, we hypothesize that the simultaneous activation of nine separate two instances caused a mass destabilization of reality, resulting in a near-complete erasure of the Shah dynasty and their artifacts from existence. SCP-2481 may have only been preserved due to Tu's damaged state and may well be the only extent remnant of the Shah dynasty. Nonetheless, the Foundation would benefit greatly from a thorough analysis and investigation of Tu. It may be too dangerous to apply the likes of Tu to direct usage, but the object will nevertheless advance our study of reality manipulation. Since most of its parts have not suffered any damage beyond being broken off, two could potentially be repaired. However, in order to do that, two has to be removed from its current location and then reassembled. This will lead to the destabilization of SCP-2481, and likely the death of three which is still a viable information source. I therefore ask that the issue be discussed and a decision be made. Head Researcher Xu Qing